Okay, thanks for joining me. So uh, we are going to uh, hopefully finish up in this video. Mizase Pachiburo Pachiokun. We're going to play the rest of the machines we need to play here. Uh, we haven't cleared any machines yet or emptied any machines, so we're going to start with number 63. Uh, this one has been recommended to us by all of the patrons uh, in this parlor who are apt to recommend a machine, so I'm just going to trust that we can clear this one. And we'll go from there. Okay, good. Yeah, so I seem to remember, and I, I'm not sure if I gave it enough credence. Like, I think somebody actually told us the secret about the seven machines, is that you know once you kick one of these off, you actually do have to get it into the V zone. I think they talk about. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that. Uh, God, I don't know why the performance on this is so bad. Uh, it's probably coming through on the video, but it's like. It's like slow or something. I should have restarted my computer before I started recording. It's just, it's just horrible. But anyway, um, yeah, I think you actually have to get into the V zone to kick off uh, one of these, whatever it is, big hit. So uh, anyway, we did that, so that's good. Hopefully this will knock out a good chunk of balls. Oh, weird. Now it counted up to nine this time. Have these ones always done that? I guess maybe these ones have. Maybe the seven machines count to nine. Nice, we got another hit. Okay, good. Well, hopefully this will get us just about to the end. I don't think it'll get us quite there. Okay, well that was pretty good. So we're down to about 300 balls left, so. It would be nice if we, you know, made it a little farther, but I'm not gonna complain. Okay, so that was it on number 63. So yeah, that really wasn't so bad. Um, you know, that was like barely 10 minutes. So that was that was good. So uh, yeah, we're gonna find some more easy machines, so to speak. Um, you know, I'll probably focus on my typical stuff. Maybe some uh, some normal machines, some airplane machines. Uh, I just want to get this finished up. Congratulations to the number 63 machine. Okay, so um, I assume we probably have some more seven machines in this row. So let's uh, switch over to this side. Uh, it's an airplane machine, let's check it out. Okay. This looks totally doable. Um, that left hand one isn't so good, but I think other than that, we're uh, ironically, I still think those you know look like they should work, but they don't. Um, they don't. I mean, it's not that they don't, but they just—it's not necessarily something that's going to work for you. Yeah, that was good. So, uh, so, yeah, that wasn't too bad. We stalled for just a little bit, but that was still like about 11 minutes or something. So that was a, that was a pretty fast clear here at these end machines. So yeah, congratulations to number 60. So um, yeah, we'll just keep checking these. Oh yeah, I might as well check the check the pins here. Looks okay, let's see if this one's any better. Okay, so that one that one took a bit longer. Uh, I think it felt longer than it was. 
because it had some real dry spells in it. But anyway, congratulations to the 56 machine, and um, let's keep it going. I think this looks pretty good. Hope it's a little faster than the last one, but we'll see. So this started off pretty slowly, but uh, we had a pretty good string of luck here that's gotten us to uh, over the halfway point. So that's good. So uh, yeah, this has been a pretty good machine so far. This is a good sign we should uh, should have this wrapped up here. There we go. Okay, so that was a pretty good machine. Um, so it started off slowly, but after that it was it was pretty uh, pretty straightforward. So uh, yeah, congratulations to number 53, and uh, let's just keep it going. give this one a try. Pretty good feeling about it. So this is going well. We should be about halfway done with this machine, I think, and uh, yeah, we haven't, you know, been getting really long strings of hits, but, uh, but we, they've been frequent, so that's good. Nice, okay. So that took it took a little longer maybe than the other ones, but that wasn't so bad. It was a pretty good machine. So congratulations to 111. And now uh, let's see, we've cleared five machines, so we should have another two or three to go, I would say. So I actually forget if these start off with 4,000 or 3,000. I think it's 3,000, so we're about halfway. Um, this machine's been fine. It, uh, I think I'm just sort of impatient because I'm getting sick of clearing these machines. We're almost done, so I just want to want to get this one cleared. But, uh, but it's been going pretty good, so we're getting there. Okay, great. So, um, so that one felt a little tedious, like I said, but it didn't take that long. It took maybe 12 minutes to clear, so that really wasn't bad at all. Uh, I think I'm just ready to get this finished up, so let's see if we can find one more machine, maybe two, and uh, we should be doing pretty good here. Nice, okay, so we got a full run there, sort of a, a full hit, and uh, yeah, we're down to about halfway, so this, is, this has been a good machine so far. Okay, good, so... Seems like the last half of that was a little harder one than the first half, but uh, let's see if this is the last one, or if we have one more to do. So congratulations to 28. <gasps> Seems like one more. Okay, let's give it a shot.
so we're about halfway done. This has felt like it's taken a really long time. <laughs> Again, I think I'm just ready to be done. Uh, hopefully it's not going to be too much longer. the game is just like stuttering but uh yeah that felt like that took forever but this is it i think this is our last machine so let's find out so congratulations to the 30 machine yes that's it now it's time to close so let's go turn our balls in and uh that might be it again i'm not completely sure um but i think we're done with Mizase Pachi Pro Pachi Okun. Maita, Honjitsu no Eigyo wa Kore de Shurio Itashimas. Oh gosh, now I'm worried. Because actually, I think the, the end screen score that I saw was actually 14. The last two numbers were. So it was, it was 140,000 something. And I'm gonna get a hundred twenty thousand something. So man, there could be one more parlor. Oh man, let's find out. They might have just had a higher score than I did, or there's a whole other parlor. Well, we're gonna see. No, that's it. Yay, we're done. All right, so this says Anata no Pachinko Do. So this says Anata wa uh, Pachi Pro uh, Mei Jin Des. Okay, this is interesting. So it doesn't look like I have this this top text in my script. So it looks like I didn't find that and dump it. So I'll have to find it and dump it. Um, you know, this basically says you you're the uh, you know the pachinko master, basically. So this is our score. Uh, this is how many uh, machines we emptied, and then let's see if we've got this in our script down here. This is uh, seikaku uh, bun seki. So um, you know, again, I think this text, this se, uh, seikaku bun seki, I don't think I managed to to dump into the script. Um, so I'll have to see if I can track that down, but I think the rest of this is in there. So what this says is, uh, Mochi dama ga uh, heru no mo ki ni uh, sezu itsu no mani ka uh, to, uh, tori kae shite ka te shimao. So this says, uh, you don't worry about your held balls decreasing, and before you know it, you've gotten them back and won. Is how I translated that. Kona uh, koto wa atarimai desu ka? It says, is this sort of thing unusual? Is how I translated that. And then it says, sona anata ni kore o dozo. So I have that translated here. This is for you. Uh, okay, and now we get another machine. I guess that's what we get. Now it's interesting, it's down at the uh, uh, 333 balls is, is how many it has. We only have 100 balls here to, to work with.
right. Oh, goodness. Okay, and we get another, another small one to clear. So I guess maybe we're gonna get one of each, each style that we have to clear here. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put save, uh, save state in front of the next one, I think, just in case. Although actually we, we've, we've gotten the balls from the first machine, so that should make it a little bit easier. And, you know, the machines might be kind of, you know, increasing in difficulty, so to speak. I think the normal machines and the airplane machines are probably sort of some of the easiest machines to play. And then uh, it's probably going to graduate us to, like, you know, seven machines and cannery machines. I feel like I'm forgetting one other kind of machine in there, but maybe not. It'd be nice if we could get into that too. Just give us a little bit of a chance here. Got into a one. Didn't, didn't quite do it. There we go. Come on. There we go. Cleared that one. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna save state this. Oh man, that's hard to look at. Okay, so now we're onto a seven machine. Let's do it. style of airplane machine. Oh, we got in the two there. <laughs> Didn't do us all that much good, like half of our balls just went to the top of the generator. So we can keep this going, we should be doing alright. We can probably look at the nails here. I just want to, because this is a cannery machine, I mean, that looks good, and that looks good. And okay, those are facing up, which I figure they probably kind of want. So um, I think they're just, they're giving us good machines here. Uh, and we can pretty much go either side of this cannery machine, which is, you know, it's good and bad. I mean, it's, uh, it was actually kind of nice in one of them, where it was clear that you probably weren't going to get into the generator from one of the sides. I could focus on that side once the generator, once the uh, scoring slot was open. But uh, that's all right. I think we're going to get the red here at some point. Couldn't really be getting many more balls into that generator. Getting a bunch in there. We were anyway. Okay, finally got one in the red, and uh, we'll see if we can get some of the scoring slot. Okay, well, that was good enough to clear that one anyway. Oh, and just a normal machine.
I just want to close some of those tulips under the the bell bottoms there, and they won't do it. It's alright if we get in the generator, we're still doing pretty good. There we go. So it looks like we're going to play one of every machine. Um, not just like one of every style or something like that, but probably just one of every... Uh, every one of the machines. So that's very interesting. It's kind of fun. Do a little, you know... It's a boss rush. <laughs> that's where we're getting the Mizase Pachi Pro Pachi Okun boss, boss rush. I wonder if this, like something like the seven machine, just goes until you get some kind of hit, or maybe even just as a time limit or something. Because that other one we seemed to go through pretty fast, and we didn't really, we we didn't clear the balls out of it that much. I know. I don't want to jinx this, but it seems like we're getting in the scoring slot enough that uh, we might clear this without uh, getting any kind of a hit. Oh, so close. There we go. So this is kind of fun. I'm going to kind of in interrupt my own thing here, but it seems like we're getting to play, I would say the equivalent of like a perfectly set up machine, but I mean, these, these pins don't necessarily seem ideal. I mean, granted, maybe, uh, you know, cause I've, I've seen and I've scored on, um, things with this pin configuration before, but it's not, it's not what I usually play for the twos. Maybe I should, I don't know. But these all seem like good machines, you know, they're not they're not giving us bad machines, so it, feel, it almost feels a little more like a reward than a slog, you know. <laughs> it's not one of those machines with like four or five thousand balls in it. It's like three hundred. It's a little, a little easier to deal with. I was about to say, probably another Kenry machine. We still had this plane one. And, you know, airplane styled one. I wonder, gosh, what else is there? Oh, we got in the red. Alright, let's see if we can get in the scoring slot. Oh, that was close. There we go. clear these 300 balls at this rate. There 
Oh, there we go. Excellent. Okay, great. So this is like a, an ending message here. So we have uh, Nagadaku no Goyugi Otsukade Sama Deshita Kore o Mochimashite Heiten to Sasetei Tada Kimasu Itadakimasu uh, Arigato gozaimashita Nao Shidori Mu no Jikai Jikai Sakuni Goki Tai Kudasai. Okay, and that didn't look familiar to me, so I don't have that in my script right now. So, you know, I'm not going to try to give a running translation of it. I apologize. I will, um, maybe I'll sit down and translate it or I'll, I'll find it in the script and dump it and add a little addendum to this but uh, definitely I'm you know glad to see it now and I can I can look it up in the in the game all right so we get a little closing cutscene here too <laughs> fine <laughs> what's up with that I wonder if uh, if you got a different score maybe instead of saying fine it could uh, it might say you know great or best or something those dreaming people producer Argohada Director R. Kotaro, co-director M. Doisuke, designer T. Yasubon, music by K. Takahashi, program programming by uh, Pinocchio. You guys can read this. I don't know if it's, I don't know if you're enjoying me reading it or not. Whatever. whatever. Uh, Ono-chan and Yo-chan. I can't imagine that uh, it took three people to make the music for this, but you know there are a couple musical themes now. We're getting a different one here. Uh, Root Maker, uh, Kamekichi Ikeda, Debugger, uh, Ai Takachan, and it's copyright 1987. Coconuts and Sea Dream. This is so exciting. We finished Mizase Pachi Pro Pachi Okun. So, um, so yeah, so, you know, a big thank you to anyone who managed to actually make it all the way to the end of this with me. Thank you so much for your dedication to watching this ridiculous playthrough. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I really wanted to do this so I could, uh, test the script. And, you know, obviously we found some text at the end there that I hadn't, uh, managed to dump. So, um, so yeah, you know, this was all very useful and uh, hopefully this is going to lead to a really nice fan translation patch for uh, this game as Ase Pachi Pro uh, Pachi -kun. and you know I hope you guys had fun and learned something about Pachinko I know I certainly did so uh, I guess that's all and I hope you'll join me again take care